Creative Katie here, Karen Virgil. Welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations. Follow me on Instagram and get sneak peeks of things that are happening in my studio. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and share it with your creative friends. Today we have index card a day number 29. And we are going back to the ocean and make some waves. Links to products used can be found in the description box as always. Thank you for shopping through my Amazon links. So I decided that I wanted to go and do an, a sea thing with a mermaid or a mermaid tail. And I was all set to make a background, blue, green, aqua, in one way with stencils and, and things. And then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do some smooshing. And I'm going to use some of this lovely green, yellow green, some white, and I'm just putting it on my craft mat. You can see my created my colorful fingers, some light blue permanent. And I'm just taking the gessoed card and just pressing it into the heavy bodied acrylic. I, and I chose to use heavy body acrylic because I want to get the texture. Like when you smoosh them together and it lifts up. I want that to be part of the background. So now I'm adding some ultramarine blue and some light aqua and doing more smooshing and more layers. Now is that not yummy what's on the craft mat right now? So I'm just adding some white and different colors as, as it takes me. I want this to look like waves. I want this to look like the ocean. You know, and I just keep going till I'm ready to move to the next step when I like what I see. I found by doing some re-practicing beforehand that putting on, you know, more layers kind of helps. If it starts coming off and getting tacky, you may need to dry it before you continue that. But look at that. That is absolutely yummy on the card and on the craft mat. I'm not one to waste paint, so I grab a couple of pre-cut ATC sized cards and I'm just going to smoosh them in there and get some of that luscious background color. So these cards will be ready to go someday when I'm creating or to be cut into an embellishment. And if you want to do this with any color scheme, choose colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Those are in the analogous colors, and I just showed you the color wheel and those five at the top. So I don't want to waste any of this, so I'm just wetting it so it comes off the mat, and I have a different kind of coffee filter. And I'm just going to dip this into the paint and pick it up. And we're actually going to use one of these coffee filters for to make the embellishment or the focal point for this iCAD. And there we have the, the beginnings or the colored coffee filter. And I wanted to do the coffee filter because I like how paint works on it. So I went on to Pinterest and I just googled mermaid and I found a mermaid tail that I liked, printed it off, you know, had it in Word, stretched it and printed it off and cut it out just to make myself a template. So this Tim Holtz stencil, I think it looks like mermaid tail scales. So I'm going to use some Diox purple, some quinacridone magenta, and then some cobalt blue metallic from Artist Loft. I love that color. It's absolutely luscious. Now I want to make sure I have enough room for cutting out this tail, and I'm positioning the stencil the way that I want it to go. 
And I'm just going to use a cut and dry foam and dip into each of those paints and cover this uh, coffee filter. Now I wish I had more of the magenta in there. And next time I might just skip the um, Diox purple and just use the magenta and the teal because I know that the teal and the magenta together where they blend, they will make that make a purple. But I like the shimmer. I wanted that shimmer in the tail. And you can see, hopefully you see, how this looks like um, the scales that would be on a mermaid's tail. I would like the reverse of this stencil. So if you know of one, please put it in the comment section below. And I'll put a link to this. This was a trio from Tim Holtz, and I love all three of them. They, they are good basic stencils that I've gotten a lot of use out of. So now that that's dry, I'm just going to cut out this tail. And I know that I may not need all of this, to, it won't all fit on the iCAD, but I'm just cutting an extra just in case. I'm being lazy and not tracing, but you can definitely trace it out with, you know, a Stabilo. And I do the middle part here with the Stabilo all pencil in white. I want to do, you know, this is not an original idea. You know, you can see lots of palette boards and things with a mermaid tail and, and mermaids and, you know, they're really in. And I just wanted to do my own. In fact, I want to do a canvas. So this is kind of just, I'm just getting used to it. And, and, I, and I will be doing a canvas with this on. So this is a good time to play with ideas, try things out. So there's the tail kind of coming up and I didn't quite cut it the proper way. So just giving it a little bit of a trim. And I'm liking how it pops off that frothy ocean background that we created. So I'm grabbing my fine liner and this is gold and I just added some extra gold paint because it was too thin and I did not shake it enough. That's why I'm having difficulties here. But eventually after with you know if I shake it enough I do get this working. So I'm just going where the stencil part was. I'm just going to go around that. Now, if you don't have the stencil or something that works, you can just eyeball this and do do this with a fine liner bottle. And I highly recommend them because I find they, they I've used them so 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 much. They're definitely worth their the cost. But you can use a gel pen, a metallic gel pen. You can even use gold paint and a liner brush. And you can just kind of eyeball it and make these kind of scale things. I was afraid on the coffee filter that it would kind of wick out a little bit, but because there was paint there already, I think that prevented that from happening because the acrylic kind of sealed it where it was. But I'm really liking the look of the gold outlining each of the scales. Was toying with the idea of doing white, but I'm really happy with the gold.
This video is just sped up about one and a half times. I find sometimes when I'm creating, I don't talk. I find it very hard to create and talk at the same time. So while I've been doing some of them in real time, um, it's not as natural. So there were long periods of silence. So I just decided to do the voiceover. And now that I get to the tail, I am going to paint the tail a solid color. And I'm not sure yet what color that's going to be. And I was going to go around it and then I thought, no, I'm going to let that dry and I will do that after I glue it on. So I just take some of the, I believe it was the Diox purple to make that tail because I really want that to pop on our light background. And then I put some of the aqua, the cobalt teal or cobalt metallic from Artist Loft on top because I, I want to get that shimmer. Now, I did not let the tip of the tail dry. And so when I go to glue down the sentiment, make waves, I get some blue on the brush from when I glue down the tail and I put that on top of, and so then I end up having to, they're not as white as I would have liked them to be. I would have, I would have, would have been perfectly happy to leave them white. <coughs> so I'm just applying gel medium to the back. And somewhere here I got the blue on, as I said. Right there, I think. And then I didn't clean the brush. And I go to blue on the sentiment and it get, gets a blue tinge. This is a fun looking font. I think it's called Henny Penny and it may be one that I bought from Silhouette. I'm not sure. There I'm getting a little more blue on there so, so the second part of the sentiment gets the same color on it. So after a quick dry and a clip, I grab the gold fine liner again, and I have that in black, white, and gold. But before I do that, I decide I'm going to shade around it. And I'm just using the floating acrylic if you have a blue Stabilo All Pencil, you can use that. You can use pencil, um, watercolor crayons. But I would prefer doing, you know, the blue. And you can see how that's just making that tail just pop. Standing out against the wave. And I believe I'm using Prussian blue. Adding layer by layer as I see I need more or less. All right, you can always build up. If you like what you see, give it a quick try, then you can add more. If you keep touching it when it's wet, it, it will make a mess. And then just going around the outside as well.
It's the little details that you add after the background's done, after the focal point's on. It's those details that really make your card or page stand out. And I'm just adding a little bit of white using the float technique as well because I just want a little bit of highlight. Not too sure that that really added too much, but And now I'm going to outline the tail in the gold. And when I put this on, I the gold is so much brighter because the other one I put the gold on and then I applied, glued it down with matte medium, gel medium. And that because it's matte, will dull anything that you have too shiny. So I'm looking at it and I go, you know what, I'm just going to go over top. I thought, oh, this might make a mess of it, but really it didn't. And it added a little bit of texture and it just, it really shines in real life. So it was well worth the effort of going around and doing it again. If I was doing this, you know, when I do this on the canvas, I will save this step for after I glue the tail on. But you can see how it just brightens it up, right? I'm, I'm hoping you can see. I love it. I absolutely love it. some small starfish but they were too big and then I remembered that on this stencil I think it was an art mine stencil from Michaels I have this tiny little starfish and I'm just stenciling it on in a couple play two three places with copper and this is Liquitec basic copper I was going to do gold but then I wanted it just to be a tinge different and you know usually do it in odds you know so it's three or five And I love it, love, love, love it. There's a saying that says, be like a mermaid, make waves. So this is just a shortened version of that. And I'm using the cobalt blue archival and just edging it. It just needs to be a little bit darker. I'm looking at it and I'm being very picky here, but the sentiment, because I there was a light layer of paint on it, got pushed back a little bit. So I grab my fine liner bottle with the black acrylic in there and I'm putting it. And you can see the top one, how much bolder it is compared to the word waves. So that's me being really picky, but 
Now, when I do this, I fill the larger area and then I just push the, t the paint with the tip into the finer areas. So you flood the bigger area and then push it where you want it. And if you go in little increments, it's, it's really quite easy to do. Then I decide, you know, I'm going to outline the starfish. Just to introduce a little more black into the ICAD so it goes with the black in the sentiment. And then I decide to edge the, call, the whole card and kind of double frame it because we shade it on the ends and with the ink as well. And then this just adds that secondary layer. It just finishes it off. So I'm really happy with this. I hope you give it a try. You can even get the little starfish online. Here are some pictures of the finished product. We'll see you for the very last iCAD coming soon.